I'm R.B. Anderson. I've been an artist for over 40 years now. Recently I've been concentrating on watercolors and I'd like to share a technique that I've found. Many galleries and art collectors prefer art that is unobstructed by glass. So in this video, I'll show you a simple step-by-step -step way to protect and present your art. Here are the supplies that you are going to need. First, we need a protective UV archival spray. This is a Golden's varnish. Works well. Next, we're going to mount the artwork to a substrate using a Liquitex acrylic medium. You'll need a half an inch, inch to two inch wood panel. Makes a nice presentation. Most any flat substrate will work. I'll be mounting a recent painting to a commemorative baseball plate, but the technique will remain the same. Finally, we'll apply a beeswax and buff the surface to a lustrous finish. I use Dorland's Wax Medium. There's a number on the market, but I like this one. Here are the tools you'll need. You'll need a couple of lint-free rags, a 1 to 2 inch brush to apply the liquid acrylic medium, an extra flat board that's larger than the artwork that you're going to be mounting. You'll need a cutting surface and a sharp X-Acto or mat knife. You'll also need a roller, and then finally you'll need a heavy weight. I use a one gallon jug of water. So let's go! Alright, first change into something comfortable. You don't want to ruin any good clothes. These are comfortable and left over from quite a few years ago. So um, We're going to spray a painting with the UV coating to protect it. Uh, protect the surface and also protect against UV light uh, which over time will dull your painting. You want to make sure that your colors stay vibrant and nice and this will help protect against light. Read the directions first. Make sure the directions on the can are the same as the directions I'm giving you. But these are general so they should be real close. So you hold your can up about 9 to 12 inches above the surface of your painting. And we're going to start at the top and spray from the top to the bottom covering the entire surface from side to side. Make sure you overspray on both sides and you want to keep a nice same angle, same speed and spray consistently so you get a nice light coating all the way down top to bottom. Set that down, turn it again. You'll do this about three to four times starting at the top, working your way clear across from top to bottom using your entire arm. You don't want to use your wrist and spray the entire surface so you get three, four nice light coatings. After the final coat, set the painting aside for a few hours before you proceed to the next step. I'll see you at the next step. Well, the surface of the final spray, the UV spray, is dry. I actually let that sit overnight, but you only have to let it sit for a couple of hours. And I've taped off the edges of the home plate so that I don't get medium down on the sides as we mount the two together. So we're going to mount this to the board. I've trimmed this to where the top edge is, is exactly where I want it. A little bit excess on both sides and the bottom, so I'll trim that later. But what we'll do is we'll take this Liquitex matte medium. And you can use gloss or semi-gloss. It doesn't really matter because it's going to be underneath the surface of the painting. You're not going to see it. And we'll apply a generous amount to the surface of the paint, or to the back side, not the surface, the back side of the painting. And you use random strokes to make sure that you have the, the entire surface covered. You want to use a generous amount so that it stays wet while you're working with both surfaces. You're going to apply this to both, this, both the plate and to the back of the painting.
artwork and pull it slightly so that it'll make it a little easier to place. Position it on the board where you would want, want it to be. Flatten it out. Just a little bit further to the side here. I got a little too far to that side. No harm, no foul. Just move it over just a little bit. Okay. Now take a piece of plastic, put it across the top of the surface to protect your artwork, and then working from the center out with a gentle pressure. Push any excess air, excess gel out from underneath the painting. Okay. After I have that air out, I like to go over a couple of times just to make sure that I've got. Nice bond between the two surfaces. Work it back across this other direction. I'm kind of shifting the plastic forward because there's a little bit of it that's coming out on the top here. I don't want that to get on the surface of the painting. So I'll shift that a little bit as I go. Make sure that the excess is not getting on the top of the painting. Okay, looks like that's good. And then after that is down, you'll take a board, place it over the top of the painting. And what this does is it distributes the weight evenly. Now I'm going to take a one gallon of water Press, put it right in the middle of the painting and that will distribute the weight evenly so that that will dry and make a nice bond between the two layers. Now after this is dried overnight, we'll trim it out and uh, we'll apply a wax medium to the front surface. So I'll see you on the flip side. Hi, it's been uh, 24 hours since we applied the painting to the base using acrylic wax medium. So we've got a good solid bind between the two surfaces. This will not come off. And since then, what I did is flip this over, trim around the edges with a very sharp exacto knife. And we're ready to put a wax medium on here to really give it a nice sheen and a nice final finish. So wax on, wax off, literally. You do it about four times. So what you do, I use uh, Dorland's Wax Medium. You can use any wax you'd like. There's a number on the market. I'm comfortable with this one. You might experiment until you find one that you like. You just take a thin amount and spread it onto the surface of the painting. You want a nice thin coat over the entire finish. Don't worry about the paint running. You have a different base to this wax than you do watercolor, it wouldn't run, plus we have the UV coat on it which protects it even more. So just give it a nice thin overall coat. And you can use gloves or you can use a, a soft cloth. To apply the wax, I like to just dig right in there with my hands. It's nice and organic, and I've never really heard of beeswax killing anybody, so I think it's very safe. So get a nice thin surface over the entire painting. And then we'll set that aside for 20 minutes to a half an hour, 
and then it'll be wax off. I'll see you in a few minutes. It's been a half an hour now, and we applied a wax medium to the surface of the painting, and it's dry, and we're going to buff it out. We'll do this about four times, but I'm not going to bore you with showing you the same procedure over and over again. So as I buff this out, I'm going to tell you a little bit about taking care of the painting after it's finished. So as you buff this, I mean, just circular motions, you want to just give it a nice sheen. The more you buff, the shinier it'll get, especially after you have two, three, four coats on there. Kind of like a car surface. You can buff, buff it until it's almost mirror-like or you can stop anywhere in between wherever you find a surface that you like. But in order to take care of the painting after you're finished, you'll want to, uh, over time, it will dull just a little bit. The wax just has a tendency of, of dulling a tiny bit. And in order to bring it back to its original surface, very easy. You take a damp cloth, wipe the surface off, make sure there's no dust, and then just buff it right back to the original sheen again. It's that simple. So it's buffed out. There's your finished painting. I'll see you next time.